Good evening, everybody. My name is Michael Bazdell. You can find me on anywhere on the internet at mbazdell. And you can find me specifically on CubeTubers at mbazdell in the chat room or streaming or anything else like that. So that's uh, that's just that's who I am if you want to find me. What we're doing right now is we're going to be doing a Wormhole X tutorial. So if you have a Stargate system or if you on your server or if you're on the QT public server, the CubeTubers public server, then this is how you're going to set up your Stargate. Uh, I already have one set up over there, but I'm going to show you the process how to set one up here. I have a couple set up all over the place, but let's do, go through this one from the beginning. So what you're going to need is 20 pieces of obsidian. 20 pieces of obsidian anywhere, and a flat space to build it. And it doesn't need to be too flat, actually. It could even be built in the air, I do believe. It could be a floating gate. So here, I'm going to really quickly build this gate. Well, not really quickly, so I'll show you. I'm going to three across, and then putting this like uh, some kind of L shape here. And then I'm going to put this there. I'm going to fly up. I'm going to put here. Two, three. So again, I went three across. Then I went one up. And then one more up. And then three up. And now I'm going to put the dirt block here as well. I'm going to put another piece of obsidian there. And then I'm going to do the exact thing, same thing, just, you know, opposite to it. The exact same opposite thing. That kind of makes sense. Okay, so I go one up. And then one more up. And then doing three across. And now I'm going back down. So dirt, block, and then dirt, and then more block, two, three, and then one last dirt piece. There's my dirt. Here's my dirt. And a block. Boom. And now, as you see there, it makes a ring. Now, you can leave the dirt if you want. It looks ugly, and it doesn't need to be there. So let's just get rid of it, shall we? I'm using flying mods, and I'm on a creative server at the moment, so that's just this is just for the tutorial. Don't you know, go, oh my god, he cheats. That, that, that doesn't really matter. Let's just get rid of this stuff. Okay, so now you've built the basic structure of your ring. That's important. It has to be like this. Uh, anywhere you want it, you can build it. Uh, it can be in the sky. It can be in lava. It can be, you know, it, it, like, it would be silly to do it there, but I'm just saying, you can build it anywhere you want. Now, next thing you have to build after you've built the ring, is you have to build what's called the DHD. Now that, how to do that is, it's, it's a four square block, um, four by two, basically vertical structure. And what you're going to do is you come to the right side of the, uh, of the, of the star, Stargate, or the Wormhole X, or whatever you want to call it, but everyone calls it the Stargate. So you see this one here, the, where it's got the, the three, and then the one up. This is the row you have to do it from. So you count here. So, you, can't, you don't count here. You, well, you can count however you like, really, basically. But it's one, two, and then three. You place the first block. Then right beside it, you do another block, and then block, block. It doesn't matter the order on how you build this. That's the key thing. You can build in any order. You can build this thing first. You can build that thing first. You can build the top two first. You can build the bottom two. It doesn't matter. It can, you, know, you can build this side, then you can build this side. As long as the finished structure looks like that, you know, that is how it has to look. Again, you need the you need the four blocks there, and you need the the tw uh, the uh, sixteen block ring, and it it has to be vertical. Unfortunately, for now, it's not it's not it's not set up to go horizontal, but it, that is coming. Okay, next, what you're gonna do is on the top left square here, you're gonna put a lever. Boom, you're done. No, next then is a sign. Now, when you have building a sign on the network, the first line of the sign has to be the name of the gate. Each gate has a name. Think of it as the gate address. Each name or each line, yeah, gate has to have it. So the first line is going to be the name of that. The second line is going to be the network name. Now the network name is case sensitive, so it has to be exactly spelled. If your network name was "I am the best," then it has to be "I am the best." And it's really generally better not to put any spaces in your network name or your or your gate names, though you can do it. It just causes a problem eventually. Well, it might cause a problem eventually. You can just, you, if you ever have to dial it or something, we'll just cover all the gates anyways. This is what's known as a sign gate, by the way. There's another type of gate that we'll cover in just a little bit. Okay, so the, what I'm going to call this one is gate one. And my network that I have on the uh, CubeTubers uh, network, or uh, CubeTubers SMP server, is tubes, capital T, because the internet is a series of tubes, and so is my Stargate system. There we go. Now, once you've done this, you're almost done. So, I have, if you see here, the name of my gate is gate one. The name of my network is tubes. It has to be on that order. If I mix them up, then the name of the gate is going to be tubes, and the name of the and the network it's on is gate one, and that will be a problem because I don't have access to gate one as a network, and it may not even exist as a network. So that can cause you a problem because then I'll jump over to the public network, 
And so your gate might work, except that you won't be able to get into any of your gates. That That's where the problem lies. So now that once you have this built, just like this, again, you have the you have the 16 block circle, you have the four block DHD, just like that. You have your sign that's labeled properly, the gate name on top, the network on the bottom, second line. And again, it has to be the first line. It's not just a matter of position. It has to be the very first line. It has to be the name. The very second line has to be the network name. And again, it has to have no. It, it, it helps to have no spaces. All right. Once that's done, you're gonna hit your lever. You're gonna right click on the lever. And I'm gonna have to turn my chat on for that. Sorry, I, I disabled it. And you'll see what happens. Ready? And click. There you go. It says Stargate design valid with st with. Oh, sorry, with with sign nav. Gate successfully constructed. So that means. Oh, and if you see him here, that magically appeared. Look at that. Oh, for some reason that's not showing up, but it's supposed to. I think that's a glitch. What that should say is gate one. Okay. Now, these are all the other gates that I have on my network. And I've already built a gate over here, but it's not activated yet. So let's activate that one as well. That's gate two. And that's tubes. Right click on that. Same thing. So now this gate is active on my network. And again, it's not showing up for some reason. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll work on that. Sometimes when you right click on the sign, now this is how it works. You can just throw the switch, you know, find a dandy, boom, you have a star gate. It jumps to I have other gates on the network, so it works right away. If you didn't have other gates, it would say error, no other gates on the network, and something along those lines. And you can also turn it off from here. Once you go through the Stargate, just like in the show, you can't turn it off, and the gates are only one way. So you have to wait till the thing times out before it'll work. And once it does work, uh, sorry, and once it does turn off, then you can reactivate and dial back again. So, to change the destination of where you're going, let's jump over to gate two there. See, it says here in dashes gate one, so that's the name of this gate. Oh, and I think it's working now. There we go. Okay. So if you see here, the first line says gate one. N is tubes for my network, so gate one. It added it as a hyphen just for stylization. Uh, so N is tubes is my network. O is M Basdell. That's me. So that says I own it. This one hasn't dialed yet, so that's, maybe that's what glitched. I don't know. It should be showing up there. It usually does, but okay. We'll keep going. So you, to change your destination, what you're going to do is you right click on the sign. So I don't want to go to Westgate or Southgate or Central. I'm going to go to, oh, see, some, now it's working. If you notice in the chat, it's kind of it's a kind of busy chat, so you may not see it, but it says dialer set to Southgate. And every time you right click on it, because sometimes the signs don't change. So every time you right click on it, you want to look at your chat. Make sure it's, it's going to the right de destination. So what we're looking for is gate two. Oh, I just missed gate two. And it scrolls up. That way it's, it's kind of confusing because there's only three, so I missed the gate two. Let's jump over to gate two. All right. So this is going to explode out, and that's going to explode out when I flip the switch. Here we go. Ready? Boop. There we go. They're both going at the same time. Look at that. That's cool. So when I jump out here, I'm going to come out there. Does that make sense? So gate one, and watch. I'm going to go through it. Ooh, look at that, I got teleported to gate two. And if I try and go back the other way, it doesn't work. Now the gate just turned off, that's a matter of timing. So that wasn't like, oh, what happened? What happened was I just jumped through the back of the gate. Cause so that's that's how that worked. Now that's the most basic structure of a sign gate system. So let's, uh, from this one here, I'll show you, I can, I'll can dial the other one too. So I have this go back to gate one, throw the switch, it's going out, and let's jump through. And again, right away, I'll try and jump through it. And nothing happened. And nothing happened. Because gates are only one. And I can't use this gate at the moment. This is gate remotely activated. So I have to wait till that turns off before it works. Another thing I'll show you is that I can put stuff all around the gate. I can do things behind the gate. Obviously, gates are front facing. Oops, I missed one. Gates are always, uh, the gates are front facing. They, they face towards the DHD. Okay, so now watch this. I'm going to throw the gate. Oh, I missed the sign. That uh, doesn't really matter. Oh, here we go. Gate two. Here we go. Right click. Boom. Everything behind the gate stays. Oh, also as another note, do not break the gates. If you break it at this stage, you're going to lose obsidian. If you break the glowstone or whatever it is framing your gate, if it's the redstone or anything else like that, if you break anything of the gate while it's active, you lose the gate in that state. It won't reset back to obsidian, so you will lose material. Okay, so now I've showed you what happens that you can build around the gate. I'll show you what happens when you build inside the gate. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit so you guys can see better. Okay, so here I'm going to build something inside the gate. Let's just do... Let's just line it. I don't know, however. Okay, and break this. 
this. I've never built a structure before inside people's gates, I swear. Okay, now we have a happy gate. Oh, look how happy that gate is. All right, well, the gate's not going to be very happy for long, because watch what happens when I right-click on the switch. Boom. Uh, well... Okay, this happens sometimes. Sometimes a gate will break, and that's actually a good example. I'm glad it did it. When when a gate doesn't work, you can right click a thousand times. You can try changing the uh, changing the destination on it. It just locked up. It won't work. The, this gate's like basically broken for now. Um, how to fix it is you have to leave the chunk, which basically means you have to go about 200 blocks away, and then wait. And like everybody has to go about 200 blocks away, and then when you come back. It will. It should fix itself at that point. So, but this gate hopefully still works. So let's try it. Yes, this gate still works. Okay, so I'll call the other gate from this one. Uh, it's not showing up. Okay, that gate magically disappeared. I don't know why. <laughs> That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Before I show you how that happens, and I'm going to show you how to build a dialer gate. A dialer gate is in is another style of gate. Now, see here, I'm coming up and I'm right clicking on here to change where I'm going. I'm hitting a lever there to make it work. A dialer gate requires less obsidian, but it doesn't give you the option of having uh, of having anything inside. Here, I'm gonna put a piece of dirt here. Maybe I hope the gate still works. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm gonna see the dirt there. It's inside the gate. Let's hope this gate still works. Hit the switch. Boom. There you go. And see the piece of dirt disappeared. And when I throw the switch again. It's gone. So don't you can't build inside the gate. That's the key thing to know. You can't build inside the gate. So that gate over there is basically broken for now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you how to build a dialer gate next. So here's a dialer gate. It's the exact same structure as, as the first gate. So one, two, three. I'm going to put a block of dirt. And some more dirt. Oops. Okay. Something flickered on me there. Okay. Let's fly up here. Let's go here. One, two. Let's put another piece of dirt. And block and dirt. Hopefully you're watching all of this because that way you can see how to you'll by the time I'm done you should have mastered all the gates. Dirt here. Obsidian. Two three. Now obviously you can't mo most of the time you won't be able to build with fly mod or anything like that, but you can, you know, do whatever you need to do. And as I to be easier, I always generally build inside the gate, just because then when I throw the switch it just blows up. So I don't have to worry about going and clearing it. But usually when I'm building a gate, I like to stylize the outside of it and make it look interesting and things. You can do anything with these gates. It's pretty good. Okay, so same thing. We've got the 16 block structure right there. And as I said, it only takes 18 blocks to build a dial gate. So you save on two. And here's how you do a dial gate. This is where it gets a little almost technical. So again, same place. We start this two here. We go one, two, three. And then we go block, block. And that's it. You're done. What you do is now is you throw on a lever here. Like that. Now watch the chat window or watch the chat section when I when I throw the switch. It's gonna tell me that the design or format is basically correct. So I'm gonna throw the switch. There we go. Valid Stargate design. And then it says required optional. So type slash WX complete space name. And if I want an IDC or a network, I have to enter that as well. So now I'm going to the chat room uh, the chat uh, thing here. Oh of course it's gonna rain while I'm doing this. Okay. So, I type in slash WX uh, complete. Let's take it rain. And the name of this gate, I'm going to call this gate 3. So, gate 3. I, I usually use lowercase letters, but just uh, for clarification on this, I'm using the capitals. Now, because if I leave it just like this, the gate will work as a normal gate. It's just that it's going to ask me which gate I want to dial. Uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and do that. Boom. So, this is now gate 3. And I'll take a look up here. It shows up here. So, K3 network is public and owner is me. So because it's public, I have to dial a gate on the public network, which is not a good thing. You don't want to do that. If you accidentally build a gate onto the public network, this same thing with any of the sign gates or anything like that, or with the dialer gate as well, it's the same idea. To get rid of a gate, you can't just destroy it. Look, if I try and throw the switch here, if I try and break the switch, there we go, it won't let me break it. I can't break the switch, I can't, or, and I can't go up here. It won't let me break the sign. I can't do anything to it. I can break the middle of the gate, but that doesn't actually clear out the uh, the content properly. Oh, I broke one part of the gate. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, but uh, anyways, regardless. if uh, At this stage, I might be able to actually break this lever, but the big thing is... Nope, I can't break the lever. So that's what happens. Oh, I activated the gate. See, the gate still works. I just took the sign down. That's interesting. 
probably when I dial it up, it fixed itself. Anyways, to ch fix this gate problem now that I've done, because it's on the public network and I want it to be on my personal network, what I'm going to do, because a personal network means it's all my gates on there. That way, because you can't dial, you can't get to these two gates from the public network. That means anybody can get to these gates. What I want is a private network. In most places, specifically on the QTubers, or QTubers SMP, you're not allowed to build onto the public network. So, what we're going to go do is we're going to get rid of this gate. Now, we're not going to actually delete or destroy the gate. We're just going to remove it from the basically the configuration files. And how you do that is you bring up your chat window again and a slash WX remove and then the gate name. So, this is gate three. Oop, gate three. I hit enter. Boom. It says wormhole removed gate three. Now, I could destroy this. Watch this. And gone. It's making me a liar. Oh, it's saying Stargate. Sorry, it's because it, of the design. I could destroy that if my design was not pro was improper. It says valid Stargate design. It wants me to recreate the gate now. So I could have, if I destroyed a piece of obsidian here and then I destroyed this. Yes, I could remove the gate. But right, what's happening is that I flick the switch and it goes, "Hey, that's a valid design." So it likes that design. It wants me to create it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in WX complete, and then type the gate. Gate three. That's the name of this gate. Now I'm going to type in net equals because that means I want this to be on my personal network. So this going to be tubes. And again, it has to be the exact same way. If your network has a space in it, you ha you can put quotes in and it'd be like tubes are mine and end quote. If you don't enter the quote properly, it won't work. But again, you should try and have a network without any without any spaces or anything like that. Just keep it nice and simple. So mine's tubes. Enter. Gate successfully constructed. Now, when I right click on this gate, it's not going to do anything fancy. It's not going to like, explode out or anything. What's going to happen is watch this. I right click on the gate, it just lights up. That's it. And now it tells me gate successfully, uh, sorry, it says Chevron's locked. And now it's telling me to type slash dial and then the gate name and then an IDC code. And I'll go into the IDC codes right after this. So, what I'm doing now is I'm, I can wait till it times out or I can just disable it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, it will time out. So, I hit the switch. I'm going to jump over to that gate, which is gate one. Even though that gate's broken, the lever there, it should still work. So let's type in dial, capital G A T one, enter. And invalid remote gate target. Okay, so that gate's kind of broken at the moment. <laughs> I think we're going to end up fixing that one. Let's try this again to gate two. Slash dial gate two. Boom. There we go. See? And I can do that manually. Now, here's a kicker. Look at that. See the other gate? Perfect. Here's the kicker. If you look through this, this list here, gate three, the gate we just created, the dial gate, will not show up. Because you can only access a dial gate from another dialed gate. So I'm going to quickly fix this one figure out. Oh, it's totally disabled here. Oh, okay. Let's flip the switch. Nothing. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because this gate's not working, now this is important to see this. It's kind of good that this happened. I'm going to type in slash WX remove gate one. There you go. Gate does not exist. Okay, so it doesn't even like this gate. For some reason, this gate stopped existing on my network. So let's just put it back on the network here. Let's get rid of the dirt. Because that apparently seems to be a problem with it. Okay. And I'm going to right-click on the lever again. Hey, there we go. Gate's back online. So let's go back to see here. Gate 2, dial that. Perfect. Okay, so this gate's working. And if I try and dial that gate from here, dial... Yeah, gate two. It gives me an error. Target gate is currently active, so I can't do anything. I'll have to wait till that turns off. There we go. And if I dial here, slash dial, capital G A T one, it works. Boom, both gates working. And let's jump over there. Now I'm kind of determined. I don't know why it didn't work or why it stopped working once I put something in the middle. That should fit. Like it should work because it did on the other gate. So let's just take a look here. Okay, and gate's okay, still working. Still a sign there. Let's put this here. I'm determined to make my happy face gate work. Okay, let's bring this up. For some reason, okay, we've learned something. I think. Yes, we have. We've learned something. Okay, you can't put a block right here and then delete it after you build a gate. And when I say right here, I'm referring specifically to this position. That breaks the stargates. So don't do that. We've now learned a little glitch. Do not do that. <laughs> you shouldn't really be building inside the middle of your gate anyways. That was just for more for uh, image, uh, illustration purpose that if you do it, it will delete, 
get rid of everything in the middle there, so it just won't work. Uh, this gate's not working. Oh, this gate's working again. Look at that. Magic. Okay. <laughs> I just dialed my own gate somewhere. Oh, I dialed the west gate. Okay. So here's that. That's a dial gate. Again, to, to use it once it's already built, it's slash dial, D-I-A-L. And then it's a, uh, any gate I want. Gate 2. And it doesn't have to be just the gates in this area. Like, it can be gates, like, you know, thousands of blocks away. So that's all that matters. Boy, it rains a lot. Okay, the last gate we're going to build... I'm going to do... I need some more obsidian. Obsidian. There we go. The last gate I'm going to build is going to be right here. And this is going to be another dial gate. Two, three. Some dirt. This, here's just going to be another way of building it, so just hold on here. One, two, three. And let's get rid of this stuff. Oh, I turned my flying off for some reason. Two, three. Put some more dirt down. And a block of obsidian. More dirt. More obsidian. Two, three. Dirt. Block. Block. Three. Done. See that? There we go. We built a gate. Again, I'm just going to clear it up because I like the dirt. Or I don't like the dirt there. And if anyone's wondering, the texture pack I'm using is the Faithful 32 by 32 which is basically just a regular Minecraft uh, texture pack with a higher resolution on it. That's all. Because uh, everyone seems to ask those questions all the time. Okay. Now let's drop over here. Again, one, two, three, one, two. And I'll put my lever on it. Where's my lever switch? There's my lever. Okay. There we go. And now I'm going to now I have again same thing we have to activate the gate. So if you look over here, the same thing we did over here, we did the WX complete, we're gonna do it over here. Now notice there's only one there's one lever here and there's one lever here. This one we're gonna give it an IDC, which is basically a password for the gate. It's just a Stargate term for identification code. So here we go. Let's type this in slash WX complete. Oh wait, I didn't hit the switch. I forgot to do that. Whoops, there we go. Let's hit the switch. Right click. There we go. It likes the design. Now let's build it. So slash WX complete. So space. The gate name is going to be gate 4. IDC will be uh, tutorial. And my net will be tubes. Boom. Look at that. There we go. It says gate successfully create constructed. Now you look up here. Gate 4, network tubes, owner, and Basdell. Now, two gates, or two, two levers appeared here. I right click the top one like we saw before, and look at that. Everything lights up. It's waiting for me to dial another gate. So let's do that one. So let's just dial gate three. Whoosh. Perfect. Let's turn that off. Now, watch this. I hit the bottom one. It's got an iris. Now, with the iris open, they have to. you have to enter a code when connecting to this gate. Now, just like a dial gate, these two gates, the sign gates, cannot get to the gate to the dial gate network. So if you if you do plan on having gates that are going to have a, a, a password on them with an ID that's or an IDC, you have to have a, another dial gate to access them, and then you have to just, it's all about memorizing. So let's flip this one up here. So let's go over to this dial gate, and I'm going to type this in: slash dial gate four capital G four entered, and then they whoosh out. They do their explosion. And there we go. Nice and simple. Let's turn that off. Okay, now now let's turn. This is called the iris, by the way. With the bottom one, that's called the iris. With that on, no one can get through the gate. So let's. I'll show you what happens. I type in slash dial G A T four. Boom! Still explodes out. That one. Notice how that one didn't do anything. It's all lit up though. It knows something's trying to happen to it. And I come through. Boom! It returns me. Error. Remote iris is locked, so I can't get through. It won't. I can jump through it a hundred times. It won't let me through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the switch. I'm going to type in slash dial GAT4. And then space the IDC code I entered, which was tutorial. If you ever want to change your... your oh, look at that. Sorry. I'll show you that. There you go. See, they both explode now. The, the, the iris is gone. And here I am. I'm now at this gate. Across the way. It worked. Again, I can't jump through the back. It just doesn't work. And instantly, the IDC, or the iris comes right back on. Okay. Now, if you ever want to change your IDC code, 
you have to do that. You have to remove the gate from the network first. So again, slash WX, remove GAT4. It's case sensitive. Boom. Iris disappeared. The extra switch disappears, and this thing's no longer part of the network. So if I go back over here, I won't be able to dial it. Slash dial GAT4. Invalid remote gate target. Doesn't exist. Here we go. Now I'm going to hit the switch on this one. It says gate constructed again, so I'm going to type in uh, WX complete. Gate 4. IDC equals hello. And net equals capital T U B E S tubes. So again, so WX complete, the name of the gate, IDC equals the password I want to use for it, and the net, the, so the network e uh, is the network that I own and have access to. Boom. And like that, gate successfully constructed. I can flip the iris on and off. I can hit the switch. Oh, I'll show you here. So again, same thing with the iris on, I don't have to turn it off to dial out. So I hit the switch here. I'm going to call gate two. Dial gate two. Same thing. The iris turns off. I can jump through it. But I can't jump the other way. It won't work that way. Nice and simple. That basically covers most of it. Um, if you ever have any problems, or I think that basically does cover all of it. <laughs> we got well, there's the iris gates, there's the dial gate, there's uh, and then there are two basic sign gates that we can just you know hit around. And as I said, sometimes the signs don't actually work, so and, or they're not updated until server resets or anything like that. So what you have to do is you, when you, as I'm right-clicking through here, see where it says dialer set to. It's changing. It's cycling through all the places where it's going to go. The last one, see, I've got gate one. Hit switch. It's going to throw it over there. Again, I switched, started over there. I can't go through. It won't work. It's a one-way only thing. Okay, now let's let's dial the gate from over here because I have to change the password. So I hit the switch. Slash slash dial space gate four. Hello, and it works just like that. Go through, and it worked. The big thing to keep in mind um, with dial gates is that you can actually dial any gate on your network or the public network. I believe there's a one called East City, so let's try that one. Slash dial, and, do, and it has a space, I believe, so let's try that. No, that didn't work. Okay. You can dial any gate, though, on a public network or on your own network with a dial gate. Uh, so, and, you know, I just after a time, I've gotten lazy. I just like using dial gates everywhere because I'm already typing in from my more secure areas. So, for example, if I want to go to Central, actually here, well, this, this is good for the cube tubers. So, I'll switch, hit that switch over there, and now, and th as I said, you can have these gates anywhere you have permission to build a gate, you can build one. And as I said, you can you know decorate your area. So, this is my area in the cube tubers SNP server, where for this is known as the gate room for everybody. And I'm waiting for the chunk to finish loading. So, I don't want to kind of show anything yet. <laughs> I want everyone to see it all at once. Uh, so, here I have two gates. Right? This is my gate room, and I have two gates. Th this gate here is a regular sign gate to dial it. That's what they're called, the sign gates. And then this gate here, directly counter to it, is a dial gate. And it has an iris, too. So, I can close off it, and no one can get into my little area if, they if I didn't want them to. But I wanted to make it public. So, same thing here. I showed you how I, this is how to get to my, my, my areas. So I just keeps people because a lot of people don't really know how to use a dial gate. Okay, let's move in here. This is known as the gate room. Let's take a really quick fly around here. This is the gate room. Just like that. See that? All these gates. These are all potential gates. And anytime you see a gate like this and just sitting here, technically, if you have permission to build in this room, you can just walk up to it and build a DHD, and you're ready to go. Right now, it's I don't have the I don't have the obsidian with me, but. Uh, but yeah, that's how it works. So this is the this is the gate room. What happens here is that you uh, once you talk to a, a mod on the server and say, I want to buy a network, and the network price is three diamond blocks at the moment. That's quite low. So if you want to get something before I, they start filling up and too many, I'll grab one. <laughs> right, but yeah, there's a lot of designs. A lot of people have anything. To, you know, you have your little area to build. But once you once you set up your first gate, they're gonna they're gonna tell you you're gonna come over here. For example, if we're buying this gate, this gate, they're going to give you the four obsidian, uh, a sign, and a lever to finish building it. And just like we showed at the beginning of this tutorial. So you tell them you're going to, I want to build a, I want to build a Stargate and I want to, or a network, and here's my three diamond blocks. And they're going to go, okay, what's the name of your network? And you tell them the name of my network is going to be Bob. 
Like, okay, well, here's your four squares. You're all set up, and here's your lever and your sign. So what you do is you come up to here, and you go, okay, here's your bottom ones. You go one, two, three, and you put your one block here, and you put another block, and then another block, and another block, and then you put your sign, and then you put your lever, and then because it's your first one you're building, just like at the beginning out of this tutorial here, you do your four here, and then you go sign and your lever, and then you type, and then you type the name, first name of the gate on the first line in the sign, the second name. Uh, sorry, the second line is your network name, ju just as you gave to the uh, the moderator, and then the then you hit done, and then you right click on your on your lever, and then that sign should appear up there, and then you're done, and then you go up and build more gates. After that, the price of gates is just like, how much obsidian can you get. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. Uh, if you look at my system here, I got many many, or I have many uh, stargates. I have about like seven or eight stargates. So let's, uh, I can show you, like, here, let's jump over to, for example, see, this one's not working here, as you see. It doesn't change the sign, but you can see, I can jump over to any, anywhere, like, there's my gate one, I can see, there's west gate, south gate, edge, let's jump over to, for example, let's jump over to creative, my creative gate. You can name gates whatever you want. I generally recommend that you name them something important to you. Here we go through, and there we go. Now we're back at this gate. Let's come through. I can jump I now I can call that gate because it's a sign gate, so I can use any gate I want to dial that in my network. I can use a sign gate or I can use a dial gate. Unlike the dial unlike the dial gates, you can only access them from dial gates. So same thing here, slash dial creative. See that one? It exploded over there too. Just like that. It turned on. Just the way it's supposed to. Let's jump through it. See? And we're right back here. So it worked. Okay. So the big thing is, if you ever have any problems with a gate that doesn't want to work, first thing to try is try going away, far away from it, and waiting till the, and make sure nobody else is around. If nobody else is around, and the, the chunk will unload, and then when it reloads, when you come back, it should fix the gate problem. Second thing to check is that make sure your network, is, this end line here, is exactly the spelt the way it's supposed to be. So make sure it is if it's not tubes, it's like if it's a lowercase t and I, and it's supposed to be a capital T, it won't work. Same thing if it's supposed to, if you typed if it, the N here says um, I don't know it says gate one and and this one here says tubes or if it does, if this doesn't say anything and this says tubes, you know you've entered it wrong. So it has to be name of the gate and the, and and is tubes. That's that's something to look for if you're having any problems. And last thing to try, if it's still not working, is basically removing the gate again. So, slash WX remove gate one. And that's how you have to get, that's how you do it to get rid of any gate. And then you break the sign. And that's it. Now that this gate, now it's done like this, I can put another sign down. Gate one. Tubes. Done. Hit the right click on the switch. Gate successfully created. That's it. And now you have a Stargate. Now again, that's the those are basically the three things you have to check. You have to make sure that the the name's working. Uh, the, you have to make sure the gate name's right, the ch the network's right, uh, the chunk is fine. And if all else fails, you have to break. You have to delete the gate and remake it. You don't actually have to ever break any obsidian. Um, if you ever have to break obsidian, that's one of those things you should co you contact the administrator of your server, and they will be able to help you there. So that's it. So this is uh, M Basdell doing the. Uh, wormhole X tutorial on uh, for Minecraft, obviously. <laughs> uh, I'm doing this specifically for the QTubers network, which is at www.cubetubers.com, which is www.qubetubers.com. Uh, the, the public SMP there to get onto it, which is not whitelisted, so anyone can join, is mc.qubetubers.com. So mc.cubetubers.com is the is the address for it. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment on this video uh, or you know come find me in the chat room, which is at uh, IRC. Or sorry, no, it's not at IRC. But just come on over to the QTubers website where there's 24-hour constantly live streaming of Minecraft, and uh, we also have a secondary channel which is also streaming 24 hours of just non-stop gaming. This is live. We're not like these aren't people. You're, you're watching recordings. You're watching people sit there play, and they're going to interact with you in the chat room. So by all means, get in. Come on in here. All right, that's Michael Basdell, everyone, saying good night.